Hey guys, it's Bank About PC Gamer here. I want to talk to you a little bit about some news that's just broken, and that's in regards to AMD's Polaris 10 graphics cards, which are due to be released sometime next month. Now, um, AMD have previously spoken a lot about increasing the TAM, which is the total addressable market. Um, right now, those kind of graphics cards would pretty much be the GTX 970 on R9 390. They perform really, really well and are affordable by most people. Now what AMD hope to do is take quite a large chunk of the market by releasing cards that perform better than both those cards for possibly even cheaper prices. So this is largely in regards to uh, VR because VR you need to push around 90 frames per second to get a good experience and um, they want to do that with uh, Polaris 10 and make it affordable for everyone. So. A website called Video Cards have released some benchmarks. Um, they've already released a 3D Mark um, 11 performance um, preset scores, but it does give you a rough idea of how the card performs now. Um, so there's two models here, which is the AMD Polaris 67D FC4, which we imagine would be the R9 480, and they've also got the 67D FC7, which is possibly the R9 480X. Whether or not it's going to be branded as 480 or 490, we're unsure yet. AMD haven't said anything. Um, but the chart includes uh, some crossfire results from the 480X and uh, single results from both cards. So if you look at the possible R9 480, it's neatly sandwiched in between the GTX 970 and 390X. So this is pretty much going to give you R9 390 performance and I would imagine they would try and push that out at a sub $300 price point. Looking at the 380X or possibly 3490X sorry, um, you're looking at performance which is very very close to the R9 Fury. In Crossfire, um, just a little bit below the GTX 1080 but it does beat the GTX Titan X. So. Um, I'm from the UK in England, so looking at the prices here, um, we're looking at AMD's Fury and uh, R9 390 and 390X, because that's the kind of prices and performance we're looking at. So the 390 at the moment is going for around 275 to 260 pounds. If they can push out the R9 480 for around 200 pounds, and that's going to be quite a hit. And um, looking at the R9 Fury, that's quite an expensive card, not too far away from the Fury X actually. So we're looking at about £457. If they can push that out for around the 390X price for around £330, then AMD are definitely poised to pretty much um, just obsolete the GTX 980 and GTX 970, providing they can push it out for the right price. So. That's pretty much all the news that has been broken. Obviously, AMD have their um, Computex um, event on the 31st of, of this month, I believe. So I'll be definitely tuning into that to find out some more information. But um, if you're looking to get um, a basically a mid-range card for the price of something like a GTX 960, um, then you're definitely going to be in for luck. Anyway, that's pretty much all the information available at the moment. Obviously, this is all speculation. Nothing has been confirmed um, and nothing's concrete, but we all like a bit of speculation. And I thought I'd give you guys um, my thoughts on it. I think AMD are in a strong position to take um, basically the mid-range market by storm this time if things are going to be released at that price. Obviously, we don't know what the GTX 1060 has in store, but it would need to be at a reasonable price to compete. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.